I'm not really done. There's some post-game things to do, there's side quests. But I did complete everything I wanted to do before the first season airs, so I'll be ready for that next week. As far as thoughts, it's Diablo. I love Diablo, this was very much fun, I enjoyed uh, finding and making my build, even though it made the final fight a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> I guess with the healing uh, from uh, the the, sk the heal skills and the barrier, very rarely do I drop below 8 or even 7 potions now. Especially when they drop so many. They drop too many. What I'm mostly looking forward to now is going to a higher world tier, because this was rather easy. I like that, that we can fast forward credits now. No game should do this. I mean, I want to watch all the credits, especially when they're cool pictures. I want to do it quickly. I guess pay my respects to people who worked on it, even though they only show up on screen for a second. I don't really like this ending, and I actually wish I was given a choice. I mean, it was like the final quest in the epilogue. Let me choose if I want to go with go with Lilith or Mephisto, if I want to fight Lilith or Mephisto. Would have been a nice change for a Diablo game. Yeah, the open world is fun, the MMO aspects aren't. I mean, you could have given me an offline game just without the world events, or not the, the legion or boss events. You could have had an opt-in online mode, which shows everyone all the time, or allows you to move into different instances when you want to. Let me just play offline by myself, and then I'll have to have an internet connection if I want to go to legion or boss events, or just do them by myself. And yeah, this game was about hatred, and we had religious zealots, people walking the wrong way, people being misunderstood, no trust, but no, games are not, are not political. Quite reflective of what we have going on nowadays. 